Hi, my name is Chef Darwin and I'm a lecturer at Capsicum Port Elizabeth. A little bit about myself, my favorite cuisine is Italian and I worked in a hotel called the Beach Hotel here in Port Elizabeth and then also ran my own successful catering business. Today I'd like to speak to you about one of our programs that we offer at Capsicum called the Professional Chef Program and then I'll also be showing you how to make a tart a tang which basically means upside down apple tart. Okay, so let's get to the tart of tang. What you basically going to need is three Granny Smith apples. What I've done with the Granny Smith apples, I have cored them. That means taking the core out and then I've removed the peel and then cut them into quarter pieces. To stop them from going brown, I've then added some lemon juice and that will stop the browning. Right. With that, you're going to need a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a pinch of allspice. You're also going to need a three quarter cup of sugar, a tablespoon of butter, and then for later, we have made an egg wash consisting of one egg and some milk. You're also going to need convenience pastry. What I've done is I've rolled out the pastry slightly thinner so it can fit over my pan. Okay, so let's start. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your apples, your cinnamon, and then also your allspice. And you're going to give that a good mix. You're going to need a pan with a metal handle because we are going to bake the apple tart. So in a circle, you're going to place your apples in a nice circular pattern because remember we're serving this upside down. So what you see at the bottom is what you're actually going to see on the finished product on the top. See, it's a nice circular uh, pattern there. I'm going to then also add in my butter, about one tablespoon, and that will help with the caramelization of the sugar. I'm also going to put in my three quarter cup of sugar, and then turn, put that onto the stove on a medium heat. So while that is caramelizing, we're going to speak a bit about the program. So this course covers all theoretical and practical components of your kitchen operations and culinary practice. To install what you have learned and get experience in commercial kitchens, you will complete a six months internship in a commercial kitchen at a restaurant or hotel as part of your course. Okay, let's check up on our caramelization. Okay, so now the sugar is nicely caramelized and that you'll see with the sugar changing color over there. So at this stage, because it's been cooking for about 10 minutes, the apple should be soft enough for you to transfer them to the oven. Set it to one side, you don't want the sugar to go too dark, otherwise you'll have a bitter taste. So after that stage there, and here you must work carefully. You just roughly cut about the size you'll need to cover the apple in the pan. And this is a rustic pie. You don't have to have a lot of finesse. All you're doing is you are making the pie shell. What you want to do with the overlapping pieces there, you're going to pinch and tuck them so that you can cover the apples. So remember that egg wash that we had earlier? We are just going to then 
brush the top and this will add additional browning to your pastry if you want a nice crispy flaky crust you can just do it with melted butter I don't like to use a lot of butter the pie crust is flaky enough and we will add some recipes on how to make a good puff pastry as well steel pan straight into the oven 20 minutes until it's golden brown Okay, so 20 minutes is up. Be careful when taking your hot pan out of the oven. Beautiful. Okay, so now comes the tricky part. You're going to take a plate, cover, be careful not to burn, and you're going to flip. With a bit of luck, don't worry if there are apples sticking to the bottom. Right. You can always use those leftover apples there. Keep filling up your pie, and then be sure to get any of the left of the syrup. I'm just going to clean up my plate. 